Hey guys, it is currently uh, Thursday, so today we're going on our run slash walk, and hopefully we'll get three miles again. Cause like I'm talking to the um, freshmen, well now sophomores, and they were like, "Hey, the the best year, the best year was eighth grade, but we just missed eighth like all the way to the end of the year after seventh grade." So that's, I mean, that kind of gets me sad, but like that was the time where we would have the most fun before we got sent off to high school. So I'm excited about band, and I'm just, I just want to experience it, you know? Okay, um, and another thing I'm afraid of is Spanish. Okay, if you don't know me, I'm, I'm pretty fluent in Spanish. I can read in Spanish, and I can write it-ish, but like, it's not proper Spanish, so I'm afraid that like, whenever I get into the Spanish class, I am like, gonna have a hard time because it's not proper Spanish the way I speak. Like, vosotros, like, like stuff like that. I don't know. And um, it takes me a little while to write on Spanish, but I figured out, you know, my theater teacher, if you didn't know, I was gonna be the lead in the musical this year in eighth grade. We were doing Frozen and I tried out and I was going to be on it. So, I mean, this is the, this was the first year where I finally got the lead. Last year, I just barely made it. Like, there was one, it was between me and this other girl. This other girl got it, so. Um, I finally got the lead this year. But, COVID kind of like, threw it out the window. We already had everything. We were like after spring break. It was one week, and then we had our performance. Like that's it. We we were so close, and then everything canceled. They moved it to another month, to like uh, two more weeks. We thought we were only gonna be two more weeks. It got canceled. After a while, I started giving up hope. I stopped practicing the lines. I stopped practicing all my songs that I was gonna sing. I forgot all my like movements and I gave up hope. Because I got really sad that I wasn't gonna be able to do that anymore. And it was because the week that we got out for spring break, I um yeah, um I was staying after school. And she's like, hey, we got your dress. So like, I went to go try on my dress and we got the, um, we had all the props, all the costumes, all the makeup that we were gonna use. But that was it. Like, <coughs> it was the choir teachers last year. She was retiring this year, which is really, which is a really, really bad year to retire because this is gonna be like, we were gonna make this the best show that we could just for her. So, because this was our last year doing musicals. And we just wanted something good for them. Something to remember us by. I'm just really sad that things ended this way. But on a happy note, today, um, my theater teacher, she messaged me. And then she's like, hey, come by the school. I have something to give you and this was all in a group chat to all the else's and honors yeah so i showed up at school she had to leave early and i got there pretty late but like i still i still have five minutes to spare but she had to leave early and she's like hey i can bring it to your house if you want and I'm like, oh, okay great so today she came to my house like at early in the morning not too early like around 10 because we were getting ready to go to the beach we're making food and everything. So, um, she went to school with golf. Oh my god, I was so happy to see her. Because, like, it was a familiar face. And I, of course I hugged her, you know? Because she's always been there for me. Theater really helped me get out of my shell. Because I was, I was kind of shy before. 
So she came by. She gave, gave me this. We we're gonna take our headshots whenever we came back from spring break, but we didn't. Cool. But she made these, and it's really special because, like, I get to remember it. And she gave me a necklace of honor. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I, I love this necklace. Like, it's something you remember. It's a memory. And I was really, really happy. We talked for like about 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes. And it was great to reconnect with you know? And then we went to the beach. But me learning the thing, it wasn't really hard. Probably the most, the most I had to do was just read uh, this Anne Frank, the book. And it wasn't that bad because I had like, okay, I hate it whenever voices, whenever like the audio takes forever to read it. So, what I did was I downloaded this app on the top thingy. Yeah, that. I downloaded it and it was basically like you would download the, all the chapters that you had to read and then you could pick the speed of voice. So, of course, me. I put it almost all the way up, <laughs> and it was like a Siri reading it to you, so it wasn't that bad. I mean, I like the voice. So we did the test, I did pretty good, and then we got to watch it. I mean, on YouTube, but like, it wasn't really the best quality, but it was okay. I'm trying to go like almost every day, um, or every other day during the week, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, maybe a Saturday. Like, not too much, but like, um, I've been going with my mom to this park that we have, uh, like, close to the city that we're in right now. Yeah, it's not even that far. But like, we go there, and then, keep in mind, my, my mom has to work at like 8 o'clock. So we have to wake up, like, about 5, 30, 5, 50 around there, and then we leave the house at 6, 15. So, it, I've been waiting for them. Yeah. So, we go, we go, we leave this house at 615. We go run, walk, whatever. We go around. My goal is at least three miles. And since we started, whenever we started, it was really, really hard. But, like, I kept on going back. I kept pushing myself to do it because I knew I could do it. And then, just the other day on Thursday, which is yesterday, I did three miles, 3.84 miles, which is pretty good. I mean, and it was about 45 minutes, which I'm not focusing on time. I'm focusing on distance. Yeah, I, I was proud of myself, and I'm planning on going more um, often, you know, and then still doing my work as a workout at home. Um, doing stuff like that. The other day, me and my sister, we tie dye shirts. So, here is mine that I did. It says, um, this is my swing top shirt, but like, I wanted to tie dye it because it looks cool. It says, um, believe there is good in the world, and then my school is swing top shirt. And then in blue, right there, it says, be good. Yeah. I think it turned out pretty good. And my sister did this one, which was an old volleyball shirt from seventh grade. And she tie dyed it white. Yeah. So I'm pretty proud about that. And um, right now, I am reading Five Feet Apart. Okay. And then seeing the movie, like, buying a movie to see it. Yeah, right now I'm on page 36 and it's pretty good. I mean, I kind of know something bad might happen just because it's like five feet apart. But it's like, I don't know, maybe something happy and you can go. I don't know. But I'm anticipating how bad it is. Because um, I read, well, in the Fault in Our Stars that bought the book. I read it and I almost cried at the end of the Falls of Our Stars and Five Feet Apart seems almost the same thing so I'm like I'm anticipating a bad ending. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's another thing.
things that have been going on in my life. I will be singing in another video, but like, I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. So if I sound like a dying whale, you know, Ryan don't say I didn't want you, because I'm okay. Not the best, okay? You, you can critique me on like, how do I fix like certain stuff. Um, yeah. So I mean like, why not? And, um, comment down below, like, new videos that y'all want to see, because I have some ideas, and I'm going to be posting more often now that I have more time, and it's officially, like, summer. So, I'm going to be posting more often. Pinky promise this time, because, like, last time I got really busy. But, um, right now, I'm just kind of enjoying life. I'm um, not a few days here. Wednesday, which was, like, two days ago, yeah. Wednesday. Um, we had a parade for school where we got to say goodbye to our teachers and I made a sign with my sister and her boyfriend and it said thank you for the um, thank you for the best three years I will miss y'all and it says low birthday but but um I I will put the video up with their reactions and like stuff like that so the little video that we took and the picture of the sign. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, thank you. If you stuck if you stuck by me this this whole time, like listen the whole time, thank you. Thank you so much. I know my videos have done the right videos that you want. Make sure to check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, because I'm trying to build up my channel. Bye!